the endangered northern spotted owl and old-growth forest. In the American Pacific Northwest, they're identified closely with each other, and once again, both are under threat. I think the spotted owl is in a, a, a very severe ecological crisis in the northern part of its range. Deep within the forest lurks an aggressive enemy, the barred owl, an invasive species from the east. As the barred owls move into an area, they're, they're very territorial, and they just chase the spotted owls out of those areas. Eric Forsman of the U.S. Forest Service is a leading expert on spotted owls. He works with other scientists to tag radio transmitters on owls, studying them and hoping to find a way to stop this threat. Okay, what we're doing here is setting up a mist net that we're going to use to try to trap the barred owls. So when I first started working here in 1972, there were no barred owls here at all, and now they're actually more common than spotted owls. Larger and more aggressive than the spotted owl, the barred owl seems to hold all the cards. The barred owl eats a little of everything, including spotted skunks and crayfish and fish, uh, wood rats, squirrels. Spotted owls tend to focus on just a few things, like flying squirrels and red tree voles. Which makes old growth forest important to the spotted owl. But barred owls can live almost anywhere. They've shown up, for example, in downtown Corvallis, in downtown Portland, in, in, in parks and areas like that where spotted owls simply can't exist. The barred owl produces almost twice as many young and breeds twice as often as the spotted. So the barred owl is winning the battle. Spotted owl numbers have dropped 50% in some areas, while in others, they've almost completely disappeared. I don't really know if the barred owl is a death sentence for spotted owls or not. And the spotted owl faces yet another threat. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service now proposes removing protection from a million and a half acres of the spotted owl's habitat. Proponents say the barred owl is the biggest threat, not habitat reduction. But Forsman disagrees. Removal of old forest habitat that the spotted owl occupies at the same time that its population is declining because of barred owls uh, would not make a lot of sense biologically. Old growth forest habitat may be the only card the spotted owl has left to play. I think to some extent we are powerless to do much about barred owls. Really, as land managers, the only choice we have is to try to maintain large amounts of suitable habitat for spotted owls and hope the two species are able to work it out in the long run. I don't think we have much choice but to do that. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.